Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing another edition of Bite Size Reviews. I'm going to try to post these twice a month now, because I feel like weekly is just a little bit too often. So before we jump into the video, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like this series, and if you have any you'd like to, I really hope you would consider subscribing and hitting that little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video every single Monday through Friday. So first, let's go through the five products that I picked in the last video. Okay, so the first product that I want to talk about is the face wash that I picked last time, and it's like the Cora's Greek Yogurt Face Wash. I still have the bottle downstairs because I'm not done using the whole bottle yet. I've been testing it out, mostly at night, and I don't think it's, it's good for my skin. I feel like it strips my skin a little bit too much. My skin is definitely a lot drier after I use that face wash, but it's not horrible. So I think it's definitely better if you have oily skin and not combination or dry skin. So I am going to finish up the bottle, but then after that I think I'm not going to go and try out another cleanser. The next product that I got was a sample of one of my favorite uh, deep conditioners for my hair. This is the Diva Curl Melt into Moisture Matcha Butter Conditioning Mask. This actually packed, this packet wasn't enough to deep condition everything, so I did have to use a little bit of the actual mask that I have, but this is a great deep conditioning mask. It is pretty pricey, so I've only bought the full, like, blah. So I've only bought the full size one when it was on sale, but it is one of my favorite deep conditioning masks of all time. I would highly recommend trying to get a sample like this if you can, or like going into Sephora, you can always get like little samples from there as well. Next, I had this fairly messy <laughs> set of uh, foundation swatches and primer from Fenty. Now, I actually appreciate the fact that they give you enough product in here for a use. This was enough primer for a full use. The foundation in here it was enough for a full use, but um, I was trying to use all the different shades, so I did use those today. And my shade, it's not matching, but it's fine because I'm not going anywhere. But I did try to like use a little bit of the darker shade as like a cream contour, so I use that up here and down here. Overall, I like this foundation. I did have a full size and I did pan a full size. I do like it for mixing. I don't like using it by itself because I feel like it is, it's very matte and it's very dry. So by itself, I kind of look like a raisin wearing it, but it's, a, it's an awesome mixing foundation. So I would recommend getting like little samples like this if you can, and then just try mixing it with your favorite foundation. I really like mixing it with um, either like a demi matte full coverage foundation or a more lightweight kind of BB cream if you really want to make it matte and add a little bit of coverage to it. The next sample that I got was from Armani and this was the Eyes to Kill Mascara. I really like this mascara, but after I used it a couple of times, I noticed that uh, I kept like going to itch my eyes and I was reaching for my eyelashes more. So I don't know if it's just the the ingredients in here that don't agree with my eyes, but I, I did stop using it because after about a week of using it, I noticed that I was doing that and I didn't change anything else in my makeup routine. Um, but that's a good reason to try out little samples because you never really know how you're going to react. Last but not least, we have the lipstick that I am wearing today and this is the cute little mini that I got from Urban Decay and this is their Comfort Matte Lipstick in Bad Blood. I will say, putting on a bullet lipstick with that's red and this pigmented, it's a bit difficult because you can mess up very easily. Definitely not transfer proof. I've had this on for over an hour at this point. As much as I love the color, I feel like this would be something I would only reach for for photos or... See, I wouldn't want to wear this to like an event because it's it's it'll move outside of the line very easily. It transfers and kind of stains everything. So if I were to want a red lipstick for an event or something, I would go for a liquid lipstick and not for this one. But it is a very comfortable lipstick if you're fine with having to touch it up and just be very careful with your mouth. Just throwing that out there. So if I got to get my basket of samples, let me just go ahead and grab that. Okay, and we're back. So let's go ahead and pick... I'm gonna do six or seven samples since I think five... I think I could do more than five, so let's put this down. Ooh, it dropped something. So, the first thing I got is from Milk Makeup, and this is a few samples of their Sunshine Skin Tint SPF 30 foundation. I don't think the shade names are on here. Yeah, so it looks like we have like a light, a light medium, a medium, and like a deeper shade in here. I'm gonna try out these first three. 
and just see i've never actually heard a lot about this if it's a foundation or not but it's interesting definitely interested in trying that out Ooh, something i'm actually really excited to try out this is from pixie i actually got a little sample at target and this is their double cleanse so they have a cleanser that's kind of like that clinique cleanser that comes in like a little uh, tub and then one half is a solid cleansing oil and then the other half is a cleansing cream so one is more to get off your makeup and then the other one is supposed to be an actual face wash so i do have a little sample of both of them right here really excited to try this out people have been saying it's kind of like a dupe for the clinique one but i wouldn't consider it a dupe because they're almost the same price like to me a dupe implies affordability so the next thing i picked out is another thing from armani this is the power fabric fabric the power fabric long wear high cover foundation i think i've tried out one of these before i really liked the formula but the shade just you know with sample shades you never know what you're getting so really excited to try it out again and just see if i still like the formula three down let's do three more okay Ooh. okay the first thing i picked is from olay this is the fresh effects clear skin swirled mattifier redness and pore reducing primer oh interesting i didn't know olay really did primer or anything so interested to try and that out next i picked out a sample of a product that i know i already love this is the urban decay primer potion the two samples that we get in here are i believe the original and eden i currently have an open one of eden that i'm working on because i do use eyeshadow and primer every day but it looks like we get like these little tubes of product in here so it looks like there's going to be enough for at least one or two full applications in here which is really good especially considering how much those are and the last product we picked out is one i'll admit i talked a lot of trash about in a weekly wow but now that i have a sample i'll try it out this is the kush mascara from milk makeup and this is what it looks like a little tube let's take a look at your brush oh okay it's actually a very promising brush right there oh that smells weird oh okay well, anyway, we have our six products for the next couple of weeks. Like I said, I do want to try doing this every two weeks because having an actual deadline got me to use that first batch of products a lot faster than I feel like I normally would have. So thank you so much for watching. Hope if you liked it, you'll give it a thumbs up and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.